Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you all how to use Wayback Time Machine. Uh, this is a tool that will allow you to see old websites that have been archived, uh, as well as deleted tweets, right, which is going to be the main focus of today's video. So first up, I'm going to type in Wayback Time Machine, not going to the burgers, although Wayback burgers are pretty solid. And we see it's the first result here. Right, so it says, hey, 664 billion web pages have been saved over time, right? And we can actually check those out. So I'm just gonna click in, and this is the website. So the way this tool works is we have to put in a URL, and once we put that URL in, it's going to find all of the different archives that exist for that specific website. What do I mean by that? Well, first, let's go to Bill Gates's Twitter, right? So. As you can see here, I'm on Bill Gates's Twitter, right? And it's possible that Bill may have deleted tweets way back when, maybe in like 2010, 2011, right? There were some tweets that were uh, on his Twitter that he deleted for whatever reason. Um, what we can do is we could take this URL, right, from Bill's current Twitter, um, Twitter handle. We could paste it into the Wayback Time Machine and hit enter. And we're going to see all of the different archive versions of Bill Gates's Twitter. So... We can see here, we got everything from 2007 all the way up to 2022, right? In terms of different versions, right? This chart actually signals activity. One cool rule of thumb, right? If you're looking for juicy, controversial stuff, the higher the bar is, right? That means the more times that website's been archived or that Twitter page has been archived, which also probably means the more controversial or interesting or popular uh, that thing they were talking about was, right? So we're gonna go uh, we'll go a little bit further back than 2019. Let's do 2015. Uh, I'm going to pick a random date. Uh, I see on June 11th, 2015, there's five snapshots. Uh, keep in mind, this is military time. To get the time of day, you just subtract by 12, right? So this is 4.19 p.m. So let's click on that and look at Bill Gates' Twitter, uh, June 11th, 2015 at 4.19 p.m. So as you can see here, this is much different than what we see on Bill Gates' current setup. Um, the layout of Twitter also looks a little bit different as well. And we can actually see tweets that Bill Gates had back in 2015. Now, if Bill had deleted these tweets, right, as long as someone took an archive, right, and, and put it on Wayback Time Machine, those tweets actually aren't deleted, right? We're actually able to, to still access them, right? So let's say uh, Bill removed his stance on mosquitoes, right? He no longer thinks mosquitoes are dangerous, right, and deleted this tweet, which obviously he would not do. Um, we're still able to access it using the Wayback Time Machine. Now, obviously, there are a lot of implications to this, right? This means, first and foremost, be careful what you put on the internet, right? It's written in ink. Uh, it's a great quote from the, uh, the social network. The internet is not written in pencil, Mark. It's written in ink. Uh, so that's one thing to note. Uh, and the second thing to note, right, is, you know, it, that's really, it's really just the first thing, honestly, is just be careful what you put on the internet. Uh, so as you see here, right, all of the tweets from that day, June 9th, even some June 8th ones. So you see, I could go down a little bit. Uh, and everything that Bill tweeted, whether he deleted or not present day, can still resurface, right? And, and get you into trouble. So that's the end of the video. Relatively short. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you all in the next video.